Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here and welcome to another Fursy Friday video. Today I wanted to share a heartwarming story with you guys about dealing with mistakes. For those of you guys who don't know, I used to work at Disneyland a few years back. No, not as a costumed character, but for two years I was one of these guys on the Jungle Cruise ride who drove around in circles, fired a gun in the air, and told bad jokes. It was an amazingly fun job where I got to be around people all the time, but I wasn't always really good at it. My very first day of training started at 6 o'clock in the morning. I had an hour and a half commute, so that meant I had to leave my place at 4.30 in the morning. Well, it didn't matter, because I overslept on accident. Whoops! So, after a few minutes of hyperventilating and crying, I worked up the nerve to give my work a phone call. They rescheduled me for the following day at the same time, and I was not about to screw things up twice. Twice. So I wake up the next morning super early, and then I manage to get to the place where I'm supposed to meet my trainer, and all with 45 minutes to spare. Yeah, I kind of went overboard with the whole being early thing, but better than late. And it worked out, because turns out my trainer was early too. He was nice enough to help me pass the time by walking around the park with me before it opened up. And it was at that moment I kind of got this magical feeling. I mean, I'd been to Disneyland several times growing up. And on this walkabout, it was just empty streets while the sun started to fill the sky with light. The only people that were really there were all the overnight crews leaving their shifts and a few employees cleaning the Main Street area. You know, like washing windows and stuff. So I'm taking in this scene while we're strolling down towards the castle, but he redirects me to a corner on the street with red and white alternating lights near an ice cream parlor. This spot is colloquially referred to as Coke Corner, because it's like Coca-Cola. Will I get demonetized for mentioning Coca-Cola? I'm not paid by Coca-Cola. So we go there and take a look, and there's a light bulb at this spot that's half painted red and half white. He proceeded to tell me a story about how when they were wiring in all the lights for this building, they did it in two different directions. This caused them to end up with two white lights at the center. Well, to fix the alternating light effect, they would have had to tear out all the wiring for this entire string of lights. And then they would have to do it all over again. So they painted the secondary white light half red, thus fixing the visual effect. It's a cute story, but the point of it is where it hit home. My trainer had emphasized to me that no matter how smart you are, no matter how creative you are, and no matter how many awesome things you can build, it can be castles, mountains, whatever, but it's okay to make silly mistakes, just like the light bulb. And sometimes those mistakes have equally simple answers. So thanks a bunch for watching this week's First Soup Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you have any personal stories where you learned a valuable lesson? I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. I do read every single comment, and I try to reply to as many as possible. And if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe for new videos every week. Also, if you want to directly support the content that I produce on this channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box below. And speaking of patrons, I want to thank these beautiful Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I want to thank these lovely patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video.